SOLIDWORKS 2010 adds an entirely new depth of functionality to its already powerful sheet metal capabilities. Let's take a look at this machine brace for example. Typically a cost prohibitive part to manufacture due to the size of the material and all the machining features required. This may be a more cost effective part to make out of multiple sheet metal pieces welded together. While in any other design tool this would require a completely different state of how you design switching from an individual part file to an assembly consisting of multiple part documents. SOLIDWORKS 2010 handles this in an entirely new way. Building on existing capabilities such as the ability to convert solid to sheet metal, SOLIDWORKS 2010 now supports the ability to have multiple sheet metal bodies within a single part file. This means the transition from creating a part consisting of one machine feature or one machine part to multiple sheet metal pieces is very easy. And just as you would expect, SOLIDWORKS supports all of its existing powerful sheet metal capabilities. For example, I want to add these edge flanges. Now in any other design tool, that would have required creating two new part documents. Notice we didn't have to do that in SOLIDWORKS 2010. But even more complex is what if now I want to join those two together? New edge flange capabilities in SOLIDWORKS 2010 make this extremely easy. Simply select the edge of one part and the edge of another and SOLIDWORKS automatically merges them together into one new sheet metal piece. Let's right click and flatten. Now found under the right mouse click menu in SOLIDWORKS 2010, it's very easy to quickly see what my part is going to look like. We'll look at that one more time on the back side here. Notice that we happen to have in this part two side pieces. Well, maybe we want to form these together from one sheet metal piece. Again, we'll use the powerful new edge flange capabilities, but like all tools in SOLIDWORKS, we add a completely new depth of functionality in that we can use all the great options that we're used to having available to us. We'll do the same thing with some, edge co with some corners here. We'll break these sharp edges and make them rounded. And what we're getting ready for is something that's completely unique to SOLIDWORKS. Because we're working in a multi-body multi environment, the same technology behind our welding environment, we can quickly add things like weld beads to our designs. Something completely unique to SOLIDWORKS, and that's the ability to work in a hybrid environment of sheet metal pieces and welded pieces together. Now the final output really is for manufacturing. I want to have these pieces made. If I want to quick take a look at what a part looks like before I output it, I can also right click on it and we have the new toggle flat display in SOLIDWORKS 2010. This gives me a nice preview while I'm actually working on my 3D model. But even more powerful is the ability to output right to manufacturing. I can right click on any sheet metal piece and export to DXF or DWG. Simply save the file name and choose what type of features you want to export. In this case, we're going to choose geometry and bend lines. But instead of just exporting it to a DXF file in this case, SOLIDWORKS is going to go a step further and it's actually going to present us with a preview. But not like any preview you're used to seeing. It's completely interactive. So for example, if I wanted to remove these pockets before I sent it out for manufacturing, we can easily do that in SOLIDWORKS 2010. This gives us great edit capabilities and ensures us that we're going to be manufacturing exactly what we expect. SOLIDWORKS 2010 adds great new depths of functionality to all of its sheet metal capabilities.